How's everybody doing? It's the end of the day. Just listen. It's so quiet out here. It's so nice. <laughs> it's nice at the end of the day to have a little bit of quiet. Shut my power off here. I didn't do that last weekend. I didn't do it last weekend. Honestly, I forgot. And then it wouldn't start Monday morning. That was my fault. But yeah. Mercy, get out of here. Some nasty bushes there. But I got a... Uh, my turn hose for my grapple was leaking. And it's been leaking a little bit, a little bit. And now it got worse. So I tried to change that. I don't got the hose. And I only have one fitting. So that wasn't a good thing. Fell out... Uh, what a way to end a week. It's a good week though. Got a lot of wood out. But check this out over here. This made me giggle. So I heard them all talking on the CB, but I didn't know exactly what they were talking about. What we got there is a little coon. And uh, a little maple tree. <laughs> a little guy up there, uh, yeah. He's got to be cold. That's a good size one. I know you can't tell, but. It didn't go through the chipper. So yes, it didn't go through the chipper. Josh had a giant, nasty, rotten aspen tree. And he flung it over and set the chipper. When it hit the ground, the top kind of busted out. And he comes shooting out of there like a house of fire. <laughs> he ran up pretty much the closest tree he could find to try to get out of the way. <laughs> uh, it'll be gone by this weekend. Well, there's a little raccoon um somebody asked on the videos what the pines were those are all white pines back in there uh, somebody asked me that on a previous video but i didn't get i usually like to put more wood in there but i didn't get to but uh i know josh is coming this weekend to pull some wood i might just pull more in there i might get the other skitter my skitter kind of down with the hose off so i might I'd like to, but it's Friday too. But there's some decent wood coming out of that back in there. But yeah, it almost Josh chipped. You got you can't believe this. He chipped for one day. He's gone now, so we're gonna talk about him. Oh, there's deer running over there. I tried to get the drone up and because there was a bunch of deer over in that field. And they just popped that hill. And if I'd have been in the machine, they'd, they'd come right up to you. But the, now that I'm outside the machine, they won't. But, uh, yeah, the drone batteries were cold. And it was acting all crazy. And it said that it, the batteries were too cold. And stuff was going all haywire. But it would have been a really cool video. But, <sighs> it's one of those deals. They keep it warm. But he, Josh chipped for one day without overloading a truck. One day. And I was thinking that maybe he was figuring this thing out, you know. Kind of figuring it out. And then today he... He overfilled the truck. And I had to stop him. Because... He, he was going right to town. He had another big old tree shoved in there. And I had to do the old... The, the, the telltale is to... Uh, flip your lights on. This time I flipped my lights on. Last time I actually hit my diff locks in on the, on the 535. Because <laughs> the buttons are right next to each other. But this time I hit my lights on and I proceeded then to drive towards the chipper and he never 
still couldn't figure it out. So then I drove on top of the tree that was in the chipper. Then he finally realized that something was going on. And he looked behind him and then the truck driver was like, I can see chips flying out everywhere. He'll figure it out. <laughs> Maybe. But I had him flustered. He had <laughs> he was on the phone uh, for a little while. So in the middle of a load. So I did text him and say, hey, get off the phone and start chipping. You know, half serious. And uh, so that got him flustered. So he got off the phone. Then he started chipping and then... <laughs> course it's my fault so what I'm saying is by him overloading that truck it's my fault because I got him a little bit flustered about overfilling about getting off the phone and getting to work see that's where the I made the videos before a long time ago with the elbows talk on the phone and do this action keep loading but uh, we might need to get him some Bluetooth headset Josh so he can talk on the phone and chip at the same time. <laughs> so it's my fault that that got overloaded. I apologize to everybody. And uh, it's my fault. But anyways, it was a good day. Stuff's cold here, my hand's cold. But I'm going home. We'll see what happens. Another day. I got a little cleanup to do up here up front yet. Forgot. They got some aspen that blew over and I gotta go clean that up yet, I forgot. But there's the 573C that we rolled over the other night, back over. And uh didn't even do anything. Didn't even knock the light out or nothing. It's built pretty good. I mean, it's not as strong as it could be. The sheet metal's kind of thin on it, but it withstood the rollover, and the old 545 got her back on her wheels. Anyways, I'm going home. I think the kids want to, uh, I think we're going out for pizza tonight. So, I'm not driving the dozer home. Thanks for watching. There's my drone. Cold. How do you keep it warm? I, can't, I don't have room in the cab for it. Leave my car on all day? I could do that. Thanks for watching. And as always, just keep rolling. Unless your truck's full. If your truck's full of chips, then stop rolling. Just take a break. Wait for another truck to back in. Then continue to load it. And then figure out whose fault it is that made you overload it. You do that while you're loading the next truck, so then you're distracted down in the next load, so you overload that one. <laughs> no, he's... Just keep rolling. <laughs>